everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and as you probably know by now, I am the blogger behind BrighterDarling.com. Um, not sure when I'm gonna stop saying that, but you know, I did start my blogging journey blogging, actually writing, so it's important that I let you guys know that I do have a blog. But anyway, today we're getting into empties. I've seen a lot of videos of this nature coming out on YouTube lately. Since it is the beginning of the year still, we are still in January, although it's almost February, it's crazy. Um, this is just a video that is, is talking about products that you wanna finish or use up or hit pan on during the year. So I'll probably do like a check-in around six months and then again at the end of the year to see if I was able to finish them. But if you're interested in seeing what products I'm looking to finish in 2018, then just keep on watching. So we're just gonna start from like the first thing I guess I would do in my routine and we'll go through the whole thing. So we'll start out with base products like foundation th and things like that. And um, I have quite a few like BBCC kind of creams. So the first thing I really wanna finish up is this IT Cosmetics uh, CC cream. I wear shade medium tan and I've definitely put a good dent in this over the summertime and in the early mornings when I have like errands to run really quickly and then I have to just like get back home and you know hang out around the house and do things home but um, I definitely think I can finish this this year it's got a good dent in it so I think I have high expectations that I'll finish this the same thing goes for the next product it is the Misha perfect cover BB cream I have two shades of this but this one happens to be shade 27 it's the lighter shade that I use most of the year I use shade 31 in like the deep summer um, but this one I love almost more than the IT Cosmetics one just because the price is so much more affordable. I get it on Amazon and I do find it's a little more golden and yellow in undertone versus the IT Cosmetics that run a little more neutral cool. So yeah, another one that I've made a good dent in that I have high hopes I'll be able to finish. So yeah, both of these are great like CC BB creams. They both have healing properties, skin brightening properties, skincare ingredients in them. This one has SPF 42, the IT Cosmetics has SPF 50. They're both solid options for medium to full coverage BB and CC creams. If you're on the market for one and you haven't tried either one of these. The next product is my holy grail foundation from the drugstore. It is the L'Oreal True Match, just the original that's been out for a million and 10 years. I have um, W5 and W6. This is W6. I tend to wear this one most of the time. W5 I wear if I'm super not self-tanned and then like it's, you know, around this time of the year and I'm not self-tanned basically. Um, but I love this foundation. It has such a beautiful finish on the skin. I'm actually wearing that today. This is exactly what I'm wearing on my skin right now. Um, it has medium buildable coverage. Looks really natural on the skin. I never have any problems with this. I just love it and I wish more people talked about it. It's just a wonderful, beautiful foundation. But back to the empty aspect of it. I'm at about here with it. So I've made a good dent in this too. So I should be able to finish this up. The problem with my collection is I have so much crap that to finish things takes a concerted effort. All right, so the last thing in like the complexion um, category, we would call it, is my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I have shade, this is shade medium. Yeah, I like shade medium. Um, again, you can see here, I've made a good dent in it. It's, well, maybe you can't actually, I'm looking at my camera but it's at about there. So I don't have too much to go. I love this concealer. There are times that I use this and I almost think it's better than my Tarte Shape Tape. There are times that that happens, but you know, I don't know. I don't know if that's like the reality or if it's just like I'm having a really good skin day, but this is a wonderful concealer. I think this is the best concealer from the drugstore, hands down. I think if you haven't tried this yet, don't wait. Go to Target right now, go to Walmart and get yourself a tube of this because it's great. All right, moving into like face powders. I have a very large collection of face powders. I don't know why, I just like to find the next best one all the time. Um, but these are actually two of my favorites right now and I have a backup of one of them already. But um, you'll see me use this one all the time. It's the Tarte Creamy, Co Creamy Powder Foundation. It's the longest name ever. It literally says on the top, Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. I wear shade light medium neutral. You've seen me use this. Before in videos, I've hit nice amount of pan there, and I use this very often because it's my winter setting powder, it's light. So I've been using this a lot to get through it. It's a super um, silky powder, it's really beautiful. Um, I don't think it's like 
foundation worthy. It's definitely more of like a powder that has a slight bit of coverage to it. Here, let me see if I can show you. Um, I don't know if you can even tell on my finger. Here, that's good. Um, it has some coverage, but it's not like anything major. Apparently you can wet this, but I've done that and it ruined the powder, so I don't recommend it. But that's my first one I'm getting going through. And the second one, this is what I have a backup of because I really love this um, powder. It's by, by <laughs> It's by Glow Skin Beauty, which used to be Glow Minerals, if you guys are into like the mineral makeup scene. Um, Glow Minerals is now Glow Skin Beauty. And this is their pressed base. In the summer I have, I think, Honey Medium or Honey Deep. Um, but this is the shade I've been using now, Honey Light. Again, another one I've been using in a few of my videos. You can see I've hit a little bit of pan there. And this one definitely has more coverage than the Tarte one. It's more of a mineral foundation, has more coverage, you can tell right there. So, um, I use this to set my foundation, but I have used it on its own on days that I just really need to get out the door quick. But it's a beautiful mineral foundation, doesn't irritate my skin, just great. Next, we will get to bronzer. So I have two bronzers that are very much favorites of mine that when these run out, I most certainly will repurchase. And the first one is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep. A uh, very popular, like cult favorite from everyone that you probably see on YouTube at some point. Um, I've made quite a dent in this. This one is a few years old though. It's, like a, it's at least three years old, but you know what? It's one of those things that I think with makeup, if it doesn't smell weird or the performance of the powder or the texture of the product hasn't changed, then I kind of keep using it. Maybe that's bad, but hey, I'm not gonna waste money and just throw things out. So. These powder uh, bronzers smell like chocolate if you aren't aware. They're really nice, the tone is wonderful, they blend on the skin really beautifully. So I really love using this and I think I definitely will repurchase, if not this shade, I might try the deep shade because my sister and my cousin both say that they prefer the deepest chocolate bronzer over this one. So I might do that next time, but definitely will repurchase the chocolate bronzer of some sort. And my second one, you guys saw in my um, chit chat get ready with me or I don't know if it's a chit chat one but the boxy charm video where I use products from my boxy charm I also pulled this in it's the benefit hula bronzer I've had this for a real long time like god I can't even tell you how long it's been like look at this brush it's I never really use it sometimes I use it to contour my nose but not really um this it has like nothing left this has broke countless times like crumbled in the pan and I've repressed it with rubbing alcohol multiple times so it's a very soft there's a lot of dust on it now because it's just broken down so many times but I am determined to get my money's worth and finish this up and it's hard to see but if you could see the pan like you could see how much metal is showing so I have a lot like I've used a lot of it so this baby must go in 2018 and I have a little mini of this as a backup because I would repurchase this but I'll have to finish the mini first. Okay, next is like highlighter and bronzers, I guess. So the first one is one that made my best of 2017 favorites. It's this by Terry Savannah Love Palette. I loved this palette most of the spring and summer of last year and probably most of the year actually. It was just a great everyday palette that I could just swipe on my entire face and it just worked beautifully on the eyes and the face. And you can see I've hit so much of pan on the bronzer side, not so much on the blush side because it's very pigmented and a little goes a long way. But I would love to just finish this entire thing this year. I just feel like it's very doable and I don't have any reason why I wouldn't be able to finish it. So I will be working on this. The next thing is a highlighter from Becca. This is my first Becca highlighter that I ever bought. It's opal. And I love and loved this highlighter. I've hit quite a bit of pan on this. I just think that this is very beautiful. It really, the Becca products are worth the hype. They're so pretty on the skin, so creamy. Like you don't have to touch it very much to have, like, I don't even know, you can't see anything. I don't know, it's hard to justify, but it's just so pretty. It's a beautiful highlighter. If you have medium to olive skin tones and you haven't tried Becca highlighters, this is definitely one to start with. I highly recommend it. And the last thing in like palette format is an eyeshadow quad from my girl, Charlotte Tilbury. This was one of the first products I purchased from her. It is the Golden Goddess palette. And as you can see, I've hit pan on all three of the satin shades. And this glitter shade is just, I mean, there's no way I'm gonna use all that glitter, but it is beautiful. I love this palette. Every time I wear this palette, I get compliments in real life. It's very natural, perfect for every day. If you are like not an eyeshadow, like, 
dramatic eyeshadow kind of look person, but you are curious about getting into Charlotte Tilbury, I recommend this palette. It's so, so beautiful. Just, uh, I need to do like a look with this on my channel because I love it, obviously. So, must use this up. Next is two lip products. Uh, this is a gloss by Marc Jacobs. It's the only Marc Jacobs gloss I have. I love it. I would consider repurchasing this, to be honest. It is the gloss in Pretty Thing. It's a beautiful little peach. No surprise there with my lip picks. Um, but I have about this much left of the gloss. So this is another one that's totally doable to use up. I just have to be conscious to keep it in my front and center on my makeup tray to, to remember to use it. But the thing about this gloss is that it's not sticky at all. So I feel like it wears down really quickly. Like it's a very slippery. <laughs> so it doesn't stick on the lips as well as I like, but it is beautiful. It has a nice mint scent and yeah, it's just really pretty on the lips. I think my battery's gonna, or like my camera is gonna cut off in a minute. So let me just stop it while I'm ahead of the game. And the next lip product is another one by Charlotte Tilbury. This was the very first product I bought from her. Um, it is the infamous Bitch Perfect lipstick. And this is how much I have left of her. It's kind of a lot actually. The thing about the Charlotte lipsticks is they don't run out too quickly because they're very nice and creamy and they have a good stick to them. So to me, I love MAC lipsticks, but MAC lipsticks in like the cream sheen finish, especially which is my favorite formula, tend to wear away really, really fast. Whereas these formulas have a little bit of thickness to them that they stay on the lips through eating and a little goes a long way. So I don't reapply as often when I wear these, hence why they last so long. But I am determined to finish this up. It's a perfect everyday lip color. It goes with any eye look. I mean, I can wear it with this, this eye look today. I can wear this with nothing else. It's just like a perfect your lips, but nicer shade, like a peachy pink. Just stunning, love it. Definitely repurchase this. And the last two things are setting sprays, facial mist, things like that. Um, and I actually just threw out, well, I guess it wouldn't qualify anyway because I threw it out. But um, the Pixie facial mists are amazing quality for the price. I just threw out the Hydrating Milky Mist, it's the white one. That is definitely my all time favorite and I will be, will be repurchasing that one. It's like $15 at Target. It's just great to give your skin a little extra boost of hydration at any point in the day. I love using it on top of like more mattifying foundations or if my skin just looked a little like flat that day, um, I would use that or if it was just a little dry because it didn't have like oil to it, like it wasn't greasy. But these two I am going to work on finishing. This is the Glow Mist. This one does have a little bit of oil in it. And then the Makeup Fixing Mist. Um, both of these are like dual phase, so you gotta shake them up to kind of activate the ingredients. The Makeup Fixing Mist has rose water and green tea in it. Um, it does have a lot of alcohol in it, but again, any like long wear makeup setting mist will probably have alcohol in it because that's what kind of absorbs the um, emollients in the makeup, which hence makes it last a little longer because there's nothing breaking down, making things greasy. Um, but if you're oily and you have a hard time having your makeup last long on your skin, this is you know not gonna kill you to have that little bit of alcohol in it for you know special occasions. Um, but again, as you can see, I've used a lot of it and I fully intend on using it up. The one thing I will say about this, and I don't know if this is all of this bottles, because the other Pixies Mists don't have this problem, but mine sprays out like it spits like a camel. Like, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. <laughs> of course, now it's like not doing it as bad, but can you see? You probably can't see. It just has like, it sprays mostly good, but then there's a part of it that sprays chunks. <laughs> sprays chunks, and when there's alcohol in it, you don't really want chunks being sprayed at your eyes. Um, anyway. The last product on my list is the Glow Mist. This one has propolis and argan oil in it. So it has that like oily base, like the second ingredient is olive fruit oil. Um, definitely has more of like a glowy dew to it. You get that dew look, which isn't so bad for me right now in the winter. I've been using this a lot more, but in the summer I don't really use it as much simply because it's just too much for me. So I definitely have to take advantage of this time of the year to finish this one up. But all right. That's it. Those are my empties that I'm working on for 2018. Well, those are my soon to be empties that I'm working on for 2018. 
Let me know what you guys are working on finishing in the comments. I would love to hear it. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you here. Please subscribe. I'm new, but I'm really working on growing my channel this year, so I would love to have you with me. Your feedback is appreciated. Any um, video ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great one and share this with a friend if you think they would enjoy it. Have a good one, guys. See you later. Bye. All right.